Platforms like Reddit, Spotify, and even X are now behind age checks that ask for more than just your birth date. This means that now accessing certain content means handing over face scans, IDs, and even credit card details. But there's still a way around it. Age verification used to be a checkbox, but now it's a full-on identity check. More sites are demanding facial scans, government ID, or credit card info, just to access content that's been open for years. And it's not just adult websites anymore. These checks are now showing up on platforms like Reddit, Spotify, X, Discord, and even music streaming apps. Countries like the UK, France, and Australia have made these systems mandatory, with laws that pressure platforms to collect a lot more than just a birth date. This video breaks down how online age checks actually work and why millions of users are looking for ways to stay anonymous without breaking the rules. To get to the content you want without any delays, you only need two things. First up, a VPN that doesn't cut corners. You want clean location masking, no activity logs, and speeds that don't collapse every time a page loads. Basically, if it feels sketchy or it's free forever, it's not worth trusting. Services like Private Internet Access VPN are built for privacy-first use like this, and they've been tested across platforms that actually matter. Next, a clean browser or even a second device. It keeps your real accounts, saved logins, and autofill data out of the mix, so nothing quietly links back to your identity. You want a clean session without any leftover data that could bring the gate right back. In some cases, if the service you're trying to access uses an age verification tool, like Yodi, you can use that as a lighter alternative to uploading a full passport or driver's license to the website itself. Bear in mind you'd still be uploading it to the ID verification service like Yodi though. It won't apply everywhere. But when it does, it can be a quicker way to get verified. That's it. A few smart tools and you're in control of how much you share instead of giving it all away by default. Want to go even deeper into privacy tools? There's a quick video on it here, so if you've never checked your autofill settings, you'll want to after that. Step-by-step -step guide to keep access, without oversharing. If you've got the tools ready, here's how to actually use them to tone down the age checks or skip them entirely, depending on where you connect from. This isn't technical, and it doesn't take long, but there are a few details that make all the difference. Start by turning on your VPN pick a location that doesn't enforce strict age restrictions. You're not looking for anything fancy here, just a region where the service won't demand a full identity check. Places like the UK or France are usually the ones making this difficult. A better bet might be Brazil, the Philippines, or anywhere that hasn't rolled out aggressive verification laws just yet. Let the VPN connect and don't rush the next step. Next, give yourself a clean slate. Even if your location's changed, your browser might still think you're in the same place you were yesterday. That's why it's smart to either open a private window or use a browser that hasn't been tracking your logins and cookies for the last six months. So, clearing your cookies is always a good idea. Although, depending on the browser, if you're using a private window, it may not be necessary. Your mileage may vary. Now, visit the platform. This is the moment of truth. Whether it's Reddit, Spotify, or something a little more NSFW, how the site responds tells you if the setup's working. Sometimes, the age check disappears completely. Other times, it's still there, but lighter. Maybe just a toggle or a birth date entry. If the heavy verification stuff is still popping up, you're either in the wrong region or the session isn't clean enough. So that's the flow to change how you show up online. Just start with a clean browser and always pay attention to the details. You'll either skip the gate entirely or at least avoid the most invasive parts. And if you're doing this from a shared device or a slow PC, don't miss this cleanup guide that walks through how to make Windows actually usable again. Getting through the age gate is one thing, but staying private while you're in is the part most people overlook. First, skip the login, especially if it's tied to your real email or any synced accounts. Even if the site isn't asking for ID, linking it back to your identity defeats the whole point of staying private. If you must log in, use a secondary account that isn't connected to anything personal. Second, don't just browse freely. Watch what the platform is requesting behind the scenes. Some pages load fine, but others might quietly request access to location, autofill data, or stored logins. If you're asked, deny any permissions. Stick to private browsing and keep extensions or plugins to a minimum. Third, keep your environment clean. Use a fresh browser session, a dedicated profile, or even a separate device if you're doing this often. 
And finally, don't overshare once you're through. That means no comments, avoiding form fills, and no need to connect social accounts. The less you give, the less the platform can tie back to you. It's a privacy-first approach, not a workaround. And it's what makes the setup worth doing in the first place. This is also where people get tripped up on public Wi-Fi, especially on mobile. If that's part of your setup, check out this guide. It's short and it's worth it. If things don't work right out of the gate, don't stress. A few quick tweaks usually get everything back on track. The age screen still shows up, pick a new VPN server. Some IPs get flagged more than others, and swapping locations is often enough to trigger a lighter version or no check at all. Page won't load or something's glitching? Try dumping your cookies or jumping to another browser entirely. Old data can confuse the site and bring back restrictions you already worked around. Stuck in the app loop? Switch to your browser and request the desktop version. Apps tend to be more locked down and browser mode gives you more control. If it all still feels stuck, step away for a bit. Sites roll out regional changes all the time and what fails now might work an hour later on the same setup. Don't overthink it. A few small tweaks usually solve the problem. Age verification online isn't going away. It's getting stricter, more complex and tied to more platforms than ever before. But stricter checks don't have to mean handing over your face, your ID or your entire digital identity. With the right setup, a solid VPN, a clean browser and a few smart habits, it's possible to meet these checks on your terms. Or, in many cases, avoid the more invasive ones altogether. It's time to protect your privacy in a system that often asks for more than it really needs. So if you're tired of apps asking for your passport just to play a song or scroll a thread, there's a smarter way to handle it. Keep your setup tight, stay aware of how platforms are changing, and don't give up more than you have to. If this helped, drop a comment and let others know what worked for you. If you're exploring VPNs for privacy-first access like this, take a look at this video, Breaking Down PIA VPNs features Tainnet covers tools which actually matter when sites start tightening access. Hit subscribe and stay one step ahead of whatever the internet throws at you.